Step one, let's shrink our starter map just to make it easier to test. Step two, let's remove the current mesh collider and add a new box collider, scale it correctly and give it the tag of finish. We also want to make sure to set is trigger to true. Next, add a new UI text game object to the main game canvas. You can set this up however you like, but please make sure to give it the tag and this tag is the tag that we'll be using to reference inside of our scripts. At the top of our Photon Manager script, we want to add three new variables. One is going to be a list of Photon views called current one player. And then we want to add a new integer called spots left. We're going to default this to one and then a new text reference called spots left text. Next, inside of our scene load method, we just want to set our spots left text to whatever tag you ended up setting this inside of the uh, text component. Now, inside of our update method, we want to check if our spots left text is not equal to null, and if it isn't null, then we just want to set it uh, to whatever our spot left value is. Next, we want to create two methods. One is going to be an RPC, and within this RPC, we're going to say spots left, uh, and then we want to basically remove a value when that RPC is called. We then want to uh, find the photon view with the given uh, player ID or photon ID that is passed through. We then want to add that to a list, check if spots left is less than or equal to zero, and if it is, we just want to iterate over all the player data for now. Then in our method above, we're just going to call photonView.RPC and then pass uh, in our current RPC method. We're going to do all buffered for targeting and then we're also going to pass in our photon view for whatever player executes this method. Next, we want to turn our photon manager class into a singleton. So in our void awake method, we're just going to check if the current instance is null and if it is, set it to the current instance. In our player data script, add a new public bool called has hit finish and we're going to default this to false. Now we want to create a new public method called check finish. We want to check if our current photon view is our own. If it is, we then want to check if the current has hit finish is equal to false. And if it is, then we want to call photon network dot leave room. Back inside of our Photon Manager script, inside of our Add Player to Spot RPC, we now want to call that check finish method. Create a new script called Finish Zone. Open up the Finish Zone script and make sure you use Photon and Photon Pun at the start of the script. Next, we want to create the on trigger enter method, and inside of this, check whether the current object that has collided. Uh, we want to check if the layer is 10. After this, we just want to set our API controller to that of the uh, current object that's collided. Then we want to make sure that we get the player data and set has hit finish to true. And then we want to call that photon singleton. Uh, so we do this with photon manager, the instance, and then dot add player to spot. And then we just want to pass in the current player's photon view. Now make sure to add the finish zone script onto our finish platform. Back in our photon manager, we actually need to check whether the current photon view is already inside of our current one player's list. Uh, and basically if that player isn't, then we want to run the rest of the code inside of this RPC. And lastly, going back into our finish zone, we want to add a quick check to see if the current collided photon view is our own. Uh, and if that is our own photon view, then we want to destroy the finish platform just to make extra sure that we don't ever collide with it two times. Hey all, Lance from Express Unity. And now if you've followed everything up until this point, your version should look very similar to mine. The only difference is I ended up changing a few of the public variables inside of the Photon Manager, just so that I can get three clients joining the game and have up to two spots, just so you guys get a better uh, idea of how the system works. Now, once two players uh, cross the finish line, the players who have not uh, ended up making it 
will get kicked out of the server. Uh, however, for those players, there will be errors, uh, but this is all that we're going to cover in this lesson. Uh, we'll end up fixing those errors in the next tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you need any help, please join our Discord server. Myself and a few others would be more, uh, more than happy to help. Um, and yeah, just subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.